Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and the other day I was scrolling through EDM Twitter as I normally do, and saw a very interesting tweet and question proposed by Proximity, as they said, um, who do you think belongs on the Mount Rushmore of EDM and why? And I thought that was very interesting for one reason, I thought the answer was obvious. As you can see through the thumbnail of this video that you clicked on, I thought the answer was very clearly Daft Punk, Avicii, and Skrillex. First of all, if you don't know what Mount Rushmore is by random chance, and you're likely not American, uh, it is a uh, mountain that has uh, four American presidents' faces carved into it and is sort of a landmark of American history. And so they kind of had the four greatest presidents of sorts, I guess, at the time. I'm not really sure exactly how they chose to pick it, but um, yeah, four really influential, popular, uh, and just uh, the greatest, I guess, presidents. And so uh, who would be then the four greatest faces you would put on uh, an EDM Rushmore? Right off the bat, there's definitely a way that someone can or cannot view this uh, question proposed, and that is, uh, do multiple members of a group count as one head or multiple heads? And so I'm going off the assumption that if there's multiple people, there has to be multiple heads heads up there. So Daft Punk counts her too. They have to take up half. If you want Swedish House Mafia, has to be all three, has to be three of the four. And so that's the way that I would personally look at it. But I guess from a purely um, a hypothetical standpoint, uh, you don't necessarily need to do that. But in theory, if I had to add a fourth uh, to my list of Daft Punk, Skrillex, and Avicii, I would probably say Dead Mouse. So here's my reasoning. Uh, first off, Daft Punk feels pretty obvious. Daft Punk is pretty much the pioneer of modern EDM. There's an argument for Kraftwerk as well too, but I think Kraftwerk was too much of a, a trendsetter back back too far that they're kind of more or less forgotten um, because Kraftwerk inspired Daft Punk and then Daft Punk went and inspired, I think, more, if that makes sense. And so uh, I think you could really make an argument for Daft Punk uh, being the one and only one that absolutely deserves to be on the list no matter what. But then after that, I would say probably Skrillex and Avicii because, well, Skrillex is obviously very, very popular and represents a whole other subgenre of EDM within bass music as the one that really brought forth dubstep to the main stage uh, and just this really heavy, distorted, synthesized um, tracks and, and albums. And uh, I think Skrillex is, is very, uh, you could <laughs> thank him a lot for that. And finally, I would pick Avicii because of, uh, I, I don't know if this is like a, a bad reason to pick Avicii, but I think that because Avicii has passed, Avicii now has this like legendary status in the EDM world. I'd be very curious to see what would have happened to Avicii's career and uh, direction in his music if he would have continued producing and um, still been with us. But um, I mean, if you look at artists like uh, Tiesto or Armin Van Buren, um, they're artists that had legendary status at one point, but have sort of become a little bit more derivative, a little bit too commercial now, a little bit uh, kind of bland. And their careers sort of just went a little bit down and, and the big EDM peeps don't really love them as much as they had in the past. And so I would have been curious to see what trajectory Avicii's career would have taken um, if uh, he was still alive and producing. But um, that's why I think I would have added Avicii to this list as like the sort of um, moniker of house music uh, because house is obviously so massive and I know Daft Punk does uh, house but I would say they're more like an electro sound um, than a purely EDM style um, Daft Punk but yeah I think Avicii deserves to be there uh, and I think partially because uh, he's passed and yes you could obviously make an argument for other artists but this one felt so natural to me this feels like a good one two three ish four punch of Daft Punk, Avicii, and Skrillex. But uh, let's see what other people have said. Oh, someone else had the same three as me, I should say, and said Skrillex, Tiesto, Avicii, and Daft Punk. I just don't see Tiesto being up there as much as everyone else does. I don't know why. I, I, like, is it just me that doesn't put him on this higher pedestal? But a lot of you guys have Tiesto out there. So I'd love to hear in the comments, uh, do you really think Tiesto should be here? I'm seeing some Martin Garrick, some Calvin Harris, some Above and Beyond and Seven Lions. No, that's, uh, that's, that's I think, too generous uh, to them. But then you get other ones where you see uh, Aphex Twin, Fatboy Slim, Paul Van Dyke, Moby. Uh, that is, <laughs> that's the very interesting thing about like the, the term EDM or electronic music is that there really is a separation between this like kind of electronic and EDM and how far you go back. Like it, personally, when I think of EDM specifically, the overarching term of EDM, I think of the Daft Punks, the Skrillex. I think of that kind of stuff, the modern music. And when I think of more the overarching electronic, I think back, or back more to older days. And that's where you get into the kind of more craft work, some Aphex Twin, some Moby, some, some of that stuff. And so uh, I think it's really interesting how you would approach 
this and how different people think about, oh yeah, like when I think of EDM, I think of this certain style of music or this certain style of music because I think that's, we see a lot of like house and trance here for sure. I would definitely be interested to think about though right now, who would the modern Rushmore of EDM be in today's musical landscape in 2024? I think... I don't know even if you counted a ton, but I think Porter Robinson's got to be there. I think Porter does. And the big problem with this is like when I think of the other big artists, a lot of them I think have have fallen off a little bit. I think your Tiesto has fallen off. I think your Armin Van Buren has fallen off. I think your Martin Garrix has fallen off a little bit. And not not that their music is so much worse, but I just think they're, they're legendary, like all <laughs> exalting uh, notion of like who they are and their production just being the best and the only thing in the world uh, is just, has just gone away over some time. Even artists like Dead Mouse, like Dead Mouse is still cooking and still making some great music, albeit a little slower paced than a lot of other artists out there. But um, just like not as quite of a legendary status of an artist as much anymore. It's become more normalized uh, of an artist, which makes sense over time. But uh, I don't know, something about him just like there's there's so many more like medium level popularity artists that I think could or should be on a modern EDM rush more to me. Okay, I have a crazy, okay, I came up with my absolutely crazy bonkers modern EDM rush more and it's Skrillex because obviously Skrillex. I think it's Porter Robinson for the more Indietronica, more hyperpop style that is going nowadays, but also taking that more chilled out future bass, whatever, just like two very different sounds of Skrillex and Porter Robinson. And then, and then I think you go Marshmallow. And I know that sounds crazy because you think of the best and you think of just the absolute greatest producers. I think you go Marshmallow just because of how iconic Marshmallow is and how Marshmallow represents the commercial EDM world. The, the EDM that is a little bit more bland and not made for the real, uh, the, the real uh, niche EDM enjoyers. I think you actually go Marshmallow, which is crazy. And I don't like that I'm saying it, but I think you gotta. And then in the same vein, I think you end it with Elenium. I think Elenium is very much represents the melodic dubstep scene and how big that is in the EDM ecosystem and landscape uh, and how he has really brought forth um, and been the leading charge on this like kind of pop rock infused EDM of sorts. And so I think if you're gonna make a modern EDM list, I think you get Skrillex, I think you get Porter Robinson, and then Marshmallow and Elenium. I think you gotta do those four. I, I think in that, in that sense, you kind of bend the line between what is like best and why someone deserves to be um, on. But if you go by influential status, I think it's those four. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Who is your EDM all time uh, Mount Rush more and uh, who is your modern EDM Rushmore? I'd love to know in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media and I'll see you guys in another video.